today we're just going to go on a little trip with Austin to have a look at um, yeah, yeah. to have a look at the uh, Clive Sinclair buildings and also the Acorn buildings. Okay, so it's uh, 24, 25 degrees and we're going to head out into town just for a little bit of a drive and to take you along to where Gingrich. take you along to where Gingrich. Uncle Clive and Herman Hauser and Chris Curry brought out the first machines. Okay, so we're going to go a little bit of a wind. It's a bit muggy today, so um, you might hear the aircon coming on and off every now and again because it is getting warmer. drive through a little bit of the outskirts of Cambridge to get to this building. Um, hopefully it's going to be quite quiet today because um, you know it's not kicking out time for schools or work so we'll avoid a lot of the traffic. Cambridge is a medieval city and there's generally only four major roads in and out of the city and they do have a habit of getting very, very snarled up. This is like 138,000 people live in Cambridge. It's not huge by any any stretch of the imagination, but it's a very, very busy city. Okay, so Willis Road's on your left, but you have to go down the next turning to get to it. And it's the old spa bottling plant, which is what um, the Sinclair building is. And before we get a little background, it was um, a bottling plant. Sinclair then converted it into what he saw as an elegant solution to his vision of what a industry or a computer center should be. It was very ecologically sound when it was built, um, has its own spring and inside of it and um, I believe that it actually contributed to the heating of the building as well. So with the using natural resources, kind of one of the first eco kind of buildings really, because you, you're talking very early 80s when this one was built or converted by Clive Sinclair. Mm -hmm. As you can see, cyclists don't care. They'll ignore any lights, they're just colours. Okay, into 
you what, it's just a small residential side road. You wouldn't believe that there was a, a computer company here or, or any kind of company really. So we're just going to turn left. And then still, if you blink, you would miss it. It's um, quite a funny one to find. And we're just going to park on the left here. And you can see the outlines of the building here. So we're going to get out and do a little bit of filming, aren't we? Okay, the building, it looks very similar to what you may have seen in magazines and on the BBC production of Micromen. But as I say, a lot of it was not quite accurate on Micromen. And... Um, it now belongs to Cambridge Universities. It was, um, I think it was eventually gifted to Cambridge Universities, um, or leased. But it's, you know, it's a nice building, but, you know, behind bars, it doesn't quite have the same effect as when it was just an open front. That's the iconic building. Unfortunately, it's, it's now part of the university. Cambridge Council owns the building, or the university's own the building, rather. And um, it's kind of all locked up, and which is a shame. It seems like they've um, let it go a little bit. It's not as not as nice as it used to be. But you know, without looking inside of it, um, we don't really know to be honest. But it looks a bit unkempt, really. Okay, so we're heading into the city centre now because this is quite funny. It's um, that Clive Sinclair and, and Acorn, Chris Curry, Herman Harris are actually set up in the city centre. Setting up in the city centre seems quite bizarre, really, when you think about a technology company in the centre of a, a medieval city, but that's what they did. Okay, so we're on King's Parade. It's one of the most iconic parts of Cambridge, um, part of where the colleges are. And, um, you know, you can see basically why people come to Cambridge to see some of the architecture in the King's College and all the surrounding colleges and universities. It's um, very busy. It's got a lot going on. There's tourists around, people taking pictures, people visiting the the local shops um, with you know some of the old-fashioned goods as well that they sell and as you can see it's always always like this it doesn't matter what the weather is this place is 
always full of people, not just tourists, but also locals who like to come down and have a look. Now, it seems a very, very odd thing to do is to set up a computer company on this part of the town or the city. Um, and it's just not what most people would have done. But as I say, we're just walking towards where Six Kings Parade is, which should be on your left hand side. You can get a glimpse on the left hand side of the actual where Six Kings Parade is. It's the, the fawn coloured yellowy shop front. And uh, so we're going to pan around to it and this is a shop front not exactly what it was depicted in Microman. the front is slightly different on there but the offices at the top roughly the same they use a different front door and probably a different building to film him changing the plaque but this is actually six kings parade this is what it is today building hasn't changed and the area hasn't really changed but as usual in Cambridge, there's always something going on, which is maybe a little bit unusual. Um, not overly sure what this was all about, but I thought I'd give you a taste of what can kind of go on in Cambridge itself at any given point. And as we sort of look around, you can see how busy this area is. Not exactly the kind of place that you would start a technology firm on. So this is the Arm campus now. It's all part of the Arm building. the arm building straight ahead of us and um, it's not what it used to be this whole area is the arm campus now We're going to head towards Cherry Hinton and through the city centre and then towards Milton. Now we're heading to the north side of Cambridge now which is where Milton is and we're heading towards Milton Hall which was Clive Sinclair's research labs which is what he used to use. He um, bought it in the mid 1980s and um, eventually it was sold off again obviously when uh, he folded his business but um, Quite a nice place, again it kind of fits in with what Clive Sinclair thought was elegant and you'll soon find out why. Okay, 
so we're heading towards Milton Hall, Milton in Cambridge or near Cambridge. It's um, north of Cambridge and it's where Clive Sinclair had his research facilities. Did a lot of development on the C5 of, um, within this building. And entering it's quite a grand entrance and uh, you can soon see why Clive Sinclair chose this building. This is all part of Milton Hall. See, it's quite a grand building. And we'll just do a quick brief sort of drive by. This is all about Clive Sinclair. This is what he thought was elegant. I'm just taking a little brief round the car park and out. 